What's the greatest thing about being a mom? Everything. I mean, absolutely everything. You know, it's very early mornings, but I am so excited every morning. It's like Christmas. It's been nearly three months since Naya Rivera's death, and now E.T. is learning how her loved ones are working together to care for her five-year-old son, Josie. You love being a mommy. Oh my gosh, yes. A source tells E.T. that Naya's ex-husband, Ryan Dorsey, and her younger sister, Nikayla Rivera, have decided to move into a house together to raise Josie as a team. As soon as Naya went missing, we're told Nikayla stepped in to help Ryan with Josie. The doting aunt always played a very active role in the little one's life, so it was never a question of whether she would continue on the same way. No, Ryan and Nikayla are not romantically involved, but they are committed to giving Josie a life that is stable and consistent without Naya, and they agreed that moving in together was the best choice for his well-being. Quote, since the devastating loss of Naya, Ryan's role in parenting has of course been amped up. He's the primary caregiver, but has been relying very heavily on Nikayla. He would not be able to do this without her help and involvement. You know, I'm a mom now, and I, you know, what I love more than acting is being Josie's mom. So I want to be here for him, and I don't want to miss anything. Our source also shared that Ryan and Nikayla have leaned on one another as they continue mourning the late actress's death. Quote, they've also found comfort in one another because they understand what each other is dealing with and they know how exhausting it can be to be grieving in the public eye while also trying to keep it together for Josie. As for anyone speculating about Nikayla and Ryan's relationship, the 25-year-old model offered this message on her Instagram story Monday, seemingly in response. Quote, in the darkest time of my life, the only thing that is important is my friends and family showing up for my nephew even though I can't show up for myself. I'm not concerned with the way things look because no one can see each agonizing moment we all endure. There are a lot of currents on the lake. The idea um, perhaps being that the boat started drifting, it was unanchored, and that she mustered enough energy to get her son back onto the boat, but not enough to save herself. The late Glee star's body was found in Lake Piru in California after she went missing on July 8th following a boat ride with her son. All things considered, our source says everyone is doing really well, adding that Josie is a very happy and sweet boy, and Ryan and Nikayla have found moments of joy and lightness in this tough time. Quote, some days are harder than others, but overall, everyone is doing well.